Hey guys, Captain here, and today I'm going to be showing you how to use F-curves in Cinema 40. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a quick animation here. So um, I'm going to keyframe this. Maybe go out a couple frames, make it smooth. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to have it like do a smooth turn. And then it's going to swing back and reverse. So I'm going to keyframe that there. Um, let me go four frames out. And then flip it like that. And then we'll go back over to here. Move it a little bit more. And then flip back down. Now what we're going to want to do is you're going to need to have like some knowledge of Cinema 4D because like um, this thing is pretty difficult to learn. You won't get it right away. Like I didn't get it right away, but uh, you guys will learn it eventually. It's not that hard when you get used to it because you're going to be using F-curves a lot if you're going to be making intros. So what you're going to do is you're going to, well, I'll smooth it out first. But uh, see, as I did, I did a reverse turn and it goes down and then gonna smooth it out at the end. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna go to camera, show F curves, and now um you gotta right click the camera by the way. Um you're gonna as you can see how it kinda like bumps down and everything, how it goes up there and it goes down and around. You don't want that. You want it to be kind of like smooth. You don't want any of these like waves in it. So to in order to do that you're gonna pull down on this as you can see how it's like smooth now there and then pull up like oops shoot I just messed up on this pull up on this maybe like that um, maybe I'll move out a little bit you sometimes need to make it a bit better but uh, like that should be good and then you're going to pull down on this and then as you see here this is where the reverse turn is as you can see how it switches directions so what you're going to do is you can see this here and there's a little dotted line grab that and drag it down until it matches up with this keyframe alright and now you're going to play around with these little um, arrows so drag this arrow up, like up a little bit, and then as you can see, how it kind of makes like this, uh, like kind of like U shape, upside down U shape. You're gonna pull up, you're gonna pull up some more, and then kind of make it like that, so it's a lot smooth. So if we play this back here now, as you can see, it'll flip over, kind of look all smooth, like that. So in Cinema 4D, if we don't have that. If you just made it and did not do that, there'd be like a wait. So if you bounce like a bouncy ball, you know how it bounces back up and then it'll keep on bouncing? That's what it does. So this would like flip and then come back down. So like if there was too much, if you didn't work with F curves, like I'll, I'll show you. Like if I went like this, like that, watch this now. It's going to be like this. It's going to go bouncing back. That's because it works in that way. Like. You can't just expect it to be smooth. It's gonna try and work its way back because of the speed difference. It's like a speed. It's gotta slow itself back down. So go back to there, and then as you can see, if we do that, it's gonna look a whole lot better. Like you don't want it to be all um, bouncy and stuff when you make the intro. But like here, it's fine because it's meant to do that. It's what you want it to be like. So it's a quick tutorial. You'll get the hang of it really fast. It's just kind of hard to grasp to begin with because it's really complicated but you'll get there and then so I hope this helped and if it did please leave a like down below it really helps me out and I'll see you guys later goodbye